My fiancé asked for an open marriage, so L called off the wedding. Two weeks ago we were two weeks away from getting married. She asked me to go to therapy with her. She was already seeing a therapist on her own, and wanted me to go with her and have a talk, before the wedding, where we could be completely honest with one another. That sounded a little weird to me, I thought we were already completely honest with one another, after all, we were getting married in two weeks, right? Also, she was super protective about her therapy sessions, didn't really talk about them. I have never met her therapist, so to be invited there all of a sudden seemed a little out of place to me. The day comes, and I go there but out of self-preservation, I had my phone opened and recording any audio. My fiancé was already there. I had to wait 20 minutes before I was invited in. The therapist greets me and shakes my hand. We have small talk. She tells me I am not at all the way my fiancé described me. I think she is trying to compliment me. Then she looks at my fiancé and tells her this may be harder than we thought. That absolutely weirded me out. But I am a calm and collected individual, and I don't react, just kept that dumb smile on my face we all have in awkward situations. So the therapist starts talking has a small speech I don't care to repeat. My fiancé takes my hand as the therapist starts telling me that we live in a modern world, and that my fiancé wants us to have a non-conventional marriage moving forward. I smile, I am not sure what the hell that means, through my mind I am thinking she wants to talk how she will not be a slave to her husband, she will not sacrifice her work life, etc. Modern woman and girl power and all that. Nope, she is actually talking about how once we get married, she wants to be free to sleep with other men. The other non-traditional type of marriage, I forgot it's 2018, but she loves me a lot, and would not be comfortable with me having the same benefits because she would be too heartbroken knowing that I find other women attractive and that one of them could steal me from her. So, I let them finish talking. They were very fluent, and they got more confident talking, probably empowered by my lack of reaction, and because I wasn't saying anything. This was definitely something they have rehearsed. I then asked the therapist if she is licensed. This, by her reaction, was not what she expected to be the first thing coming out of my mouth. She said yes, so I told her to explain to my fiancé why we will not be getting married anymore, and why we will not continue being a couple starting immediately. You can now check if there is a part 2 by pressing share and more. I wish them good luck, and left the office. Now, I want to report the therapist. I am not sure if I have to report her to the clinic, or is there a board that supervises therapists? I don't think they're planning an attempt to corner me as professional conduct, and I want her to pay for the misconduct. That session did not sit well with me. To be clear, there would have been no positive outcome to this talk my fiancé and the therapist had with me. Even if she wanted a completely open marriage, where I could sleep with other women, the outcome from my part would have been the same. That's is not a marriage, that is a sham. It also dawns on me, she might have cheated on me. Now that I have this clarity of mind, certain things don't match up. So I was a fool anyway. I listened to the recording, and I still can't believe what was said there. Anyway, I called off the wedding. I am a very easygoing guy. There are no fights with me because I am not seeking them. There are no conflicts, enemies, because my life is guided on principle and common sense. That might have given my ex the impression I will be easy to walk over, like a doormat, but she is an idiot for thinking that. Having listened to the recording a few times, I am confident the therapist recognized I am not how my fiancé must have described me in their sessions. Hence that this may be harder than we thought. Now that the wedding is no longer happening, people are starting to ask questions I am not comfortable answering. How do I navigate this sea? I am sure my ex is doing damage control, but I have the recording, and if she goes too far off the path, I will not shy letting people know what she wanted us to talk about. But my parents and family also want answers, and I am not sure what BS to tell them. I don't want them to think I am an idiot for allowing my ex to get to this point where she was so confident that she straight out told me she wants to f other dudes. She is also blowing my phone, my best friend's phone, my brother's phone. We can work on this, I didn't understand what they were telling me in the therapy session, she will do anything to fix this, it was the therapist's idea, she was against it, etc. Last cry of a dying siren. All her cries fall on deaf ears, and I am the owner of said ears. We were also working to get a loan to buy a house, but I cancelled everything. I basically erased any ties we had financially, or otherwise. Her current plea is that in therapy she exposed her insecurities about our sexual history. I had considerably more partners than her, and the therapist came up with the idea we should level the field. Regardless of the truth of this, that therapist gets reported once I figure out where to do it, and what to say. This post is mostly a rant, but I would also want to know how would you handle the questions of friends and family. My ex is certainly doing her own damage control, and I don't want to be a he said, she said. I do have the recording, and I'm wondering if I should send it to the interested parties. My ex doesn't know I have the recording. You can now check if there is a part 3 by pressing share and more. Update, my fiancé asked for an open marriage, so L called off the wedding. Jokes aside, it has been an interesting two weeks since my initial post. Monday last week I talked with a lawyer at work about the situation with the therapist. He looked at me like I was bullcrapping him, and asked me if this was a prank. So I asked him if he wants to hear the recording. Damn right, was his answer. I talked again with him the next day, at the end of it. He noted a few things I didn't pay attention to. On the recording, the therapist was always saying we think, we want, we talked about, we decided. Not once did she say your ex here asked me to talk with you or your ex wants you to know, or anything like that. It was always we this, we that he also asked me what my end game is. Do I want to sue? He didn't think I personally have a case, to which I agreed. I never intended to sue anyway, but notify the appropriate institutions and let them deal with the therapist. A decision was made to write two letters. One addressed to the clinic the therapist works at, and one for APA, we checked, she was accredited. 
By Wednesday there were a few more people at work aware of the situation, including one of the two case researchers. She dug up information about the therapist, online reviews, as well as the contacts for two of her previous patients. The therapist didn't have the best reviews, there were people upset with her, and we managed to track the two we talked with through social media. They were more than happy to help once we explained the situation, and their stories were not any better than mine. The letters grew a consistent size, as we included the signed stories from the other two individuals, as well as my own description of how my ex changed once she started the therapy sessions, and a detailed description of how my meeting with the therapist went. Friday last week I met with the parents. Her parents came to my parents' house, and we had the talk. My ex was there too, and more info was disclosed. That made its way to the report on the therapist as well. This week, we sent the reports out. There was a reaction from the clinic. They called our office on Thursday morning, most probably to check if it is a prank or a real issue. We talked with their lawyer, or one of their lawyers, over the phone, and, when we confirmed it was legitimate, someone else was heard in the background, on their end, with a well, crap, they said they are taking this very seriously. A conclusion from one of the guys at work was that they probably received other complaints before, but this is the first time someone did it so well documented. Their letter also mentioned we are reporting this to APA, that might have turned the heat on as well, hence their quick reaction. I don't know what the result of this will be, and I consider my issue with it closed. However, having talked with the other two individuals that were treated by this therapist, I sincerely hope she is at least investigated, because she sounds insane and with an agenda, she ruined their relationships as well. One of the individuals was a woman, for the record. Then, my ex and her parents. Friday last week my parents called me and asked me to give them a visit after work. When I did, surprise, my ex and her parents were there too. My first reaction, seeing their cars in my parents' driveway, was to flee. This meeting was supposed to be on my terms, but she attempted to take the reins to it. That was not going to happen, let me tell you. My ex was waiting for me outside. She looked very good. If there was ever a girl you'd like your parents to meet, she was the image of it. She told me they are here to talk with me, and see if we can fix this. They as in her parents. She either never told them what happened, or she gave them a version of a story they were not buying.